Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome to another G4 video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to set up your very own Power World server. So, uh, bear with me on this. I don't know every server setting to Word. I uh, wasn't giving you any prior information to this, so we're just going to have a look at it and set it up together. Now, at this moment in time, GPO are sold out of servers, but more servers will come online within the next day or so. So, the best thing you can do is the following. So, go to Dashboard, or go to um, GPO, click on the PAL world, or if you do not see it, click on Rent a Server, scroll down, and then click on the search bar and type in PAL. You'll see it there. And then choose how many servers you want, uh, slots you want for your server. Click the order now button and you'll see here. Now, when you go to buy your server, it may turn around to you and say the following. Error. Cannot make a server at this time. If you click option two, which is the right hand side. Uh, let me see if I can show you this. Order. Might pop up, it might not. All right, well, we've got another server there. So. And now we have a server. But it might pop up saying that you don't get it. If you don't get it, you can say load it for later. And that will be a thing. And you'll get it. All right. Okay, so once you're in, you want to click on the... Um, the we'll look at status first, okay? So as you can see here, there's the game server load, how many server slots in the server we want, the access data and verify game files and factory reset now this is a new thing um that most servers didn't have before so if you ever have an issue with your game or your save game just click this and it will give you a clean server installation verify game files uh this is like as it says on the tin you know just verify the game files if the game is not running properly so moving over to basic settings now this is where a little bit more intense so you want to name your server so it's easy to find. I would highly recommend going with something like your name, you know, um, and just something like their server. Something simple and easy to find. You don't want to have like a million different names. Server description, pardon me, uh, is whatever you want. Just welcome, you know. Your admin password, make sure it's a good one. I'm not going to type one in. Server password, if you want to keep it private, I highly recommend that you don't. How many players you want and you want to enable Archon. Now if you want to reduce the overall size of your players, let's say for example um, you want to start off with maybe four of your friends and then slowly increase it until you get up to 42 players or just leave it at 42 players and go from there. It's really up to you. Archon, uh, that's like you need that on. Keep that on. Right now uh, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because I don't know what half of this stuff is because I haven't received any vital information. Extended sentence, let's have a look at them together. So in multiplay, is multiplay? I have no idea. Like maybe between Epic and Steam? And if that is the case, Epic is having issues right now and I would probably leave that off. Uh, is PVP? That way, sorry. If multiplayer is on, I, I think that's what it is between multiple um, platforms like Steam and Epic and whatever else they're using. Up to you whether or not, I would probably leave that off. Is PvP? Do you want PvP on your server? Mm, I'm going to leave that off for now, maybe later. And pick up other guild death penalty drops. So, I'm going to assume that that's a PvP thing. Do with guilds and whatnot, I would leave that off. Uh, enable non-login penalty so uh, one thing i did read about this game is it has a login penalty system um option like this um so basically what that means is if you don't log in every x amount of days characters off the server so um that could be what it is let's leave that off exist player after logout do you want your players your cat like your players to leave their characters on the map do you remember rust it's like that um enable fast travel off is starting location select by map the english translation here is terrible but uh, i'm assuming that means we get to select a certain point on the map to start like arc maybe uh enable defense of other guild player leave off 
uh, enable player to player damage. I'm assuming that means base enable player to player damage. Enable friendly fire. Enable invader enemy. I would leave off unless you're doing a P. Never. If you're doing a PvP server, turn it on. Uh, enable aim assist pad. Keep that off. Aim assist is for little girls anyway. Enable aim assist keyboard. Leave that off as well. Auto resist guild no online players. So if there's nobody online, I'm assuming it gives you a shoot. Right, so then you've got like all these base settings as well, more advanced stuff to go into. I would take your time with each and every one. If I find out more information, I will come back and do another video on these. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm sure somebody can help you out. Um, once that's done, hit save and then it will load and then start your server. Now, this will take about between five to ten minutes based upon um, start up time if it's the first time and whatnot. Moving over now, this is a little bit more tricky. So going down, you've got file manager. This will probably be for modding and whatnot later on, but we'll do another video on that later. Restarts. Now you really want to do a daily restart. So let's just put in daily re uh, restart. I can't remember how to spell anything. Right. So the daily restart is going to be at like, say, when nobody's on. So 7.30 in the morning. He's on at that time. We have a nap. Right, um, so that's that, and it's done. For backups, now backups are a really good thing to have. I would ought the minute you start your server, always make it backup, so that way you can always revert to that backup. So automatic backups on. Okay, they lifesaver. All right, permissions. Now, if you want to add another G portal user, and I specifically state a G portal user, get their username, add it there, and. Manage your server when you're not online. Okay, the next bit. Support. If you need support for your, uh, for your like, um, your server, don't be uh, like shy. Actually, reach out and write a ticket. G portal support teams are usually quite good. Um, I've never had really a problem with them, and they can fix it pretty quick. In the meantime, guys, that is that. Thanks for watching another video. Um. Have a great day and if you want 10% off your server all you gotta do is hit the link in the description and be applied when you go to your uh, your checkout thanks for watching guys have a great day